Finally, a critic got it right. Rebecca Brown, writing for The Stranger, said of that performance, if Prince and Jim Morrison had a secret love child, <laughs> it would be John Moore playing Figaro in the opening night of Seattle Opera's The Barber of Seville. Honestly, the costume and that hair do most of the work. And the swagger with which I play Figaro in that unique production does make him seem more like the progeny of rock stars. Why not? The opera is a place for unique, big, and loud ideas. How many of you have been to the opera? All right. Well, if you haven't, you've been to much that is like it. The opera is defined as a drama in one or more acts set to music for singers and instrumentalists. Most live performances are a kind of opera. Any staged event with scripts, songs, drama, a rapt audience, contain all the necessary ingredients for opera. If you attend a worship service at a church, mosque, or synagogue, you experience a kind of opera. This TEDx has much in common with the opera. I am performing a scripted, rehearsed, and sequenced act. My idea is not new. It's recycled. Unlike the stars of hit shows on Broadway or touring productions of one show like uh, Disney's Frozen, the opera soloist takes work where the work is. I will very rarely, if ever, be singing the same opera in the same town with the same cast, director, conductor, or set design. The most unique aspect of opera is the acoustic experience. Traditionally, the opera soloist is not enhanced with amplification. To carry the human voice unamplified over maybe a 60-piece orchestra into a theater with maybe 3,000 seats, 3,000 bodies soaking up that sound requires precise technique. The diaphragm pushes air through a four-inch long tube, one inch in diameter, through the vocal folds of the larynx, no thicker than a sheet of paper, out of the mouth and into the ears of listeners, sometimes 100 or more feet away from the stage. This act of human vocal precision, along with the dramatic portrayal on stage, is worth the price of admission. The questions I get asked the most about my work are, how did you learn to sing like that? How did you learn how to act? And how'd you get into opera at all? I love these questions. It gives me the opportunity to demystify opera a bit. I learned how to sing by mimicking singers. Luciano Pavarotti was not my first lesson in opera singing. Elvis was. <laughs> my first opera was not singing Figaro in The Barber of Seville. It was playing the big bad wolf in kindergarten in the Three Piggy Opera. <laughs> Life taught me how to act. Dealing with unrequited love, middle school. Understanding the nuances of courtship, high school. Confrontations with an overbearing authority figure, my dad. <laughs> Making the trivial a bigger deal than it needs to be? Marriage. <laughs> Death? Being in the room as my grandfather passed away. In opera, 
I have performed all of these scenarios of real life in different scenarios while singing sometimes in a language I wasn't raised speaking or speak even now. Yet I can learn the language and the musical quality of it enough to offer to you the opportunity to understand and be transported into the drama on offer. The content of opera can be far-ranging, but in all drama, it is the human experience that is amplified. I learned to do my job by observing real life and then opening myself to the unique characteristics of the roles I'm assigned to play. The experience and relationship between an actor and performer and the audience is an intimate relationship. There's an unspoken trust between us as we share silence, lend an ear, suspend reality, and in some cases, surrender publicly to deep-seated emotions. The experience of a live performance is community. Unlike going and watching the big screen at the movies or binge watching a series on Netflix, the live performance allows us to share our real time together. As a performer, I take my role in society seriously. We are priests and priestesses tasked with the role of soul soother, soul wrencher, and soul translator. Our vocation gives us an opportunity to offer to you a unique perspective on human being. The opera is a genre that allows us all to surrender to the power of human to human contact. It is a democratizing medium that allows us to listen well together. Life is opera. And we all play a role, whether we realize it or not. Our thoughts, our beliefs, our fears and joys, they're all unique to us, but they're not uncommon. And they're unlikely to be authentically new. My hope is that you take away from this performance the desire to shut off the machine. Experience live performance. I know that when you do, when you surrender to it, and you find in it the core of your humanity, you will leave enriched, enlightened, and perhaps entertained. I'd like to leave you with an excerpt from a new American opera, composed by one of the leading composers of my generation, Missy Mazzoli. The opera, Proving Up, the setting, the plains of 1870s Nebraska. The character, Johannes Pa Zegner, who, stepping onto his homestead for the first time, hoping to prove up, to make a better life for himself, his wife, and his four children. Let me turn off this microphone. Come along, come along, make no delay. Come from every nation, come from everywhere. Our lands, they are providing us. Don't be alarmed. Uncle Sam is rich enough to give us all a farm. We're bound to lead the nations cause our models go ahead and tell the foreign paupers that our people are well fed. There's room for all creation. A banner is unfurled. Here's a general invitation to the people of the world. 
Come along, come along, make no delay. Come from every nation, come from every way. Our lands are they are broad enough. Don't be alarmed. Uncle Sam is rich enough to give us all a farm. Thank you.